Hey guys, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Welcome to a very, very special trade talk video live from, well not live, but pre-recorded from New South Wales. I don't exactly know where we are. I'm here with uh, the fabulous Jess, my chauffeur, just showing me the science of Sydney. Brilliant weather, as you can tell. They think that it's the Melbourneian people bringing this shit weather, but really, anytime I'm down here, it's always shit, so... I don't know, I feel like it's just constantly pissing down in New South Wales. But anyway, speaking of pissing down, it was pissing down news yesterday, Trade Talk News. There was a few little bits and bobs that happened for the footy club, whether you like it or not. So we'll get into that and I'll, we'll just talk about it. So the first one was straight off the bat in the morning, wake up and Zane Cordy is a, is a saint. So he was an unrestricted free agent from the Western Bulldogs turned 26 I think in a couple of weeks he's played in a premiership he's played another losing grand final um, solid defender without being amazing uh, about 195 centimeters 100 kilos so he's a fairly big boy he's not too much bigger than say Josh Battle but he's a little bit taller um, he's not gonna really take on the beast forwards um, next year and that's kind of the void that we really wanted to fill but he's pretty much comes as a, as a free agent, basically. Doesn't cost us anything. Fills a void in the back line, and he can play forward as a swingman as well. So that's Zane Cordy from the Dogs. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on that, whether it's, it's a good pick or not. Um, I'm going to be fairly open-minded about it. Straight off the bat, I'm kind of not really that happy about it because I think that I want us to be a bit more ruthless with, with list spots and getting players that are a chance of really cementing themselves into the best 22 and becoming really good players. Zane Cordy could do that. I'll be open-minded about it, but at this point in time, I'm pretty happy with the back line, so I'm curious to see how he fits into it. And then the big one in the afternoon, bit of a sad one. I mean, everyone kind of loved the way Benny Long went about his footy. He didn't get the most opportunities, but when he did, he always played with his heart on his sleeve. He always tackled hard, chased hard. Loved a goal, loved being around his, his teammates, and you knew that he was, um, you know, he doesn't take what he does as, as a career for granted. Uh, and you love that about a St Kilda player, and we, we've always said that we need more players like Ben Long with the intensity and with that sort of, um, I don't know, the heart of Ben Long at the footy club. But unfortunately, he's no longer at the footy club. He is going to the Gold Coast Suns, that's what he wanted. He nominated the Suns a couple of weeks ago, and we've facilitated that trade. We've given Gold Coast, Ben Long, and a future fourth round pick. Not really sure why that was even necessary as a sweetener. It's kind of like Ben Long enough is, you know, you're getting the player you want. I don't know why they need a draft pick for it. Um, and then in return, we get pick 32 in this year's draft. So again, not really sure about this one. Ben Long... You know, we got him at pick 25 about five years ago, so we basically developed him, and then we trade him away for you know a worse pick than what we got him for in the first place. So I'm not really sure about that one, but again, he wanted to go, so I don't think we could have really convinced him to stay in the end. I think there was an offer on the table, but Ben Long was pretty keen to just have a change of lifestyle, and the Gold Coast is a good place to be. You know, they've they've got some good young players. And it's a, it's a good lifestyle up there. The weather, you know, it's a bit more chill. It's not the Melbourne, you know, AFL-focused city. He can go there and chill and just play his footy and, and, um, and be closer to family as well, I'm pretty sure. So that one's done. And then lastly, we've been linked to Geelong's Asava Radagalia, who is still contracted until the end of 2023, I believe. He's a forward ruck. Uh, and not getting a lot of opportunities in that Geelong lineup because they're so good and, you know, Stanley basically takes that, Blixar takes that role as well. So they're, they're pretty happy with that. I think from reports he wants to stay, from what I've heard, but uh, Jeff Walsh, our new head of football, said yesterday, I think on Trade Radio when they were interviewing him, that he thinks that we've got a bit of interest there. He said he doesn't really know the full extent of the interest uh, because he's not in that department but he believes that we're keeping a close eye on Asava Radigalia. Um, and look, to be honest, I wouldn't be too dissatisfied with that. It depends on what we give up for him. He is contracted. So I wonder if we're you know, getting that pick 32 for Benny Long and maybe that's, that's enough to get Asava Radigalia. Would Geelong take a third round pick 
with a contracted player that's not getting any game time and give him to St Kilda. You know, we need another Ruckman. Paddy Ryder's retired. We've got, obviously, Max Heath developing and Jack Hayes will return with Ron Marshall, but I think we, we want another Ruckman on top of that. And the Saiba Radicalia is young enough. He's, he's raw enough. He's got, he's got potential. That's kind of the big thing about him is he's always had potential, but he's never really put it together, and that's because he hasn't really had a, a clean run at, at playing, you know, a full season uninterrupted. He's either injured or, you know, he's dropped to the second. So, pick 32 for Asava. I don't know about that one. What do you guys reckon? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. That's kind of the news at the moment. I, I'll keep you, keep an eye on um, other rumours and, and news when it when it's released or when I hear it, and then I'll report it as quickly as I can. As I mentioned last time, I'm now in, uh, yeah, fabulous New South Wales and, uh, yeah, family time. So, I'll, I'll still keep an eye on the news, and if it's important enough, I'll report it. And if not, I'll just um, put it through Twitter and Facebook um, and you'll, you'll find out all your news there. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As a summary, you know, it's a bit of a mixed feeling sort of day yesterday. I think Cordy could be good. He's cheap. So I'm just going to tell myself that we got him for nothing. We didn't give up anything. And we got a, a tall defender that could potentially plug a gap in the back line and even in the forward line. And then we got rid of Ben Long, and hopefully there's a plan for that pick 32 and what we're going to do with it, whether we go to the draft, which I don't think is probably what we're going to do with it. Maybe we can trade it and work our way back into the teens or into the 20s and, and use it that way. Um, and then, yeah, Saiva so Galea. I don't mind that. I think that'd be okay if, if it doesn't cost us much because he is contracted. Geelong are the premiers, so that means that every player that you know, plays for Geelong has a bit of a premium on their head, so they're going to be a bit more expensive on the open market. So, yeah, we'll see what happens there, and if anything develops in the next couple of days, I'll let you know. Anyway, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and as always, go you mighty saners. Come on. <laughs> All right. See you guys. <laughs>